Yesterday we dropped off a load in Mobile, Alabama, and then we were directed just south of there to Irvington to a very new Walmart distribution center. We picked up a load there. What they do is they get they get shipments that come into the port at Mobile off of the sea container ships. So then they get all the containers of dry goods there and they split them up and then they send them to Thank other distribution centers in the area. So we picked up yesterday in, Mo in Irvington, south of Mobile, and now we're all the way up here in St. James, Missouri, just about 700 miles. And we have arrived at 2.30 in the afternoon and uh, it's a dry van load, none of it's, none of it's refrigerated. About 33,000 pounds. It's just assorted different stuff for Walmart that they sell. Nothing specific, just Walmart stuff. Walmart stuff, the kind of stuff you might buy at Walmart. No, How I far did we come? 700 miles. Did you say that? I don't feel Am hurt. I not listening I just, again? My self-esteem is really <laughs> being affected I'm taking here. a beating. <laughs> Okay, anything else interesting about the load? No, we've been here a few times to this particular DC, and uh, so it's familiar ground. It's a real nice, easy drive over the weekend. Surprisingly, a lot of vacant spots at all the rest stops and truck stops, so easy to find a place to stay. Yeah, that was the, the most I've and ever seen on any trip. As soon as we leave here, we're going to start our reset. Okay. We only got a couple hours left on our 70. They don't seem to be getting me another load, so we'll just go chill for a day. Bye. Bye. Hello, Crete.
ったら
story. Ah, uh, they're both equally. They're both in about the same shape. You know, it's not the, the tires are good and all that. This one's got some battle scars, like somebody scraped it against something. And uh, there's some debris in the back. It'll do for a Sunday afternoon. Kevin? Yeah. On the other side it has the flammable. Oh, look, here's a flammable placard on the ground. I already took it off the other side. And what is the story? I thought, aren't you, are you supposed to... Uh, no, you, you have to leave it on when you drop it. As long it, as it's it. loaded with the same stuff, yeah. So once it's unloaded, those placards have to come off. Right. So usually would Walmart do that? Without to. You can't you can't drive down the highway with a placard on it and it doesn't have those things in it, right? They both have a tire like that? No. Not that I know. Oh, I thought you said something about the two tire about both of them with their tires. No? I imagined that again? Yeah. Was I not listening again?
that sounds much better. Yeah. It's taking air. It's taking air. So we'll get us to the truck stop. We don't see any holes or anything sticking out of it. it must be a pretty slow leak. I'll get them to check it because I think this trailer needs a T1 anyway. So while it's in the shop, I'll tell them about the tire. Excellent idea. Oh, new message. Oh, re really? Tell me. Before leaving, take your lock off. Done that already. You know, I'm looking for something about a load. But there's no load, so we're going to go take our reset. And finish that trip. Yep. One, two, three, four, five trips now since I got this new tablet completed. All right, I think we can go to the gate. Yeah, so, yeah, you know, it's not very often we see a bad tire on a pre-trailer. And it's because we do the T1s. We do the inspections and, and DOT inspections and lubrication and maintenance and checks every three months. This one hasn't been checked in six months. We got a slow leak in the tire. When I was with Werner, it'd be like every third trailer or something would have a, a leaky tire. So it tells you something, you know, if you, if you spend your time, spend a lot of time going and getting tires fixed, it's time you're not productive, right? Why is time you're sitting sitting at the at the shop getting something fixed? So these, uh, these maintenance, their maintenance schedule pays off, Yeah, I think. Especially for the driver. Yeah, for me. Right. And it used to be that you had to do four T ones to get a point. But they that's they really listened they listened to the drivers who were like, that's really not sufficient for how much time it can take out of your day. Yeah. So they actually changed it and now it's one point. Yeah. Because you don't you you don't get paid when you're doing those T ones. You're losing money, really. If you're if you're on the clock, you're losing money because the, tra the trailers in the shop getting done. Sometimes you can do it at terminals when you're there. Oh yeah, as the well, terminals they do. If they have time for you, sometimes it's happened to us that they just couldn't fit it in. But yeah, not bad. Okay. 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 Let's go on our reset vacation. Yeah. yeah. video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to put your comments down below and hit, questions hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell and we'll see you down the road bye for now bye for now